Um, SLARF is poems made from Google search results. And I'm going to read two of them, and I'm going to dedicate them both to you. Because it's your birthday. Yeah. What are you, a Libra? Yes. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Very organized. No? More organized than me. I'm Sagittarius. I want to expose myself for love of the people. I want to expose myself for love of the people. I want to expose myself and masturbate in public for love of the people. In love, what? And resting quietly, I want to expose myself in the grocery store, eating junk food and cookies right off the shelves as I am exposing myself for love of the people. I don't want more opium than Thailand. I just love myself and the people so much that I want to be a better person and take pride in the things I do because I love me. And so I seek to expose myself for love of the people and of me. I just flew in from Vegas where I exposed myself for love of the people. I wanted the people of Vegas to laugh, to cry, to hate, to love, to feel that life is about reading and sharing and exposing. And so I was exposing myself to girls who are in need and vulnerable. When a developing girl asked me, do you want to have the opportunity to expose yourself to some laundry? I had to answer, anything goes. Because I don't want to achieve immortality through my work, I want to achieve immortality through exposing myself. Invite me over and one thing will lead to another and I left my glasses and I can't read this. And then in the morning, if you die a painful death and I bury your body in the backyard and it's similar to the way Europeans love to smoke and I love smoking and you love traveling, then I will expose myself to a bus full of people stranded in traffic. I want to become a beacon for maintaining your dignity while exposing yourself for love of the people. I am not sure who my biological parents are, but I believe that their goal was to become Pokemon masters and continue to get with baby squirrels. If Jesus had a pet baby squirrel and it jumps on me, could I still expose myself for love of the people? I want Mexican nuns to be victims of my love. Also Oreos, Dr. Pepper, and Cheetos, and Mother Teresa. Actually, I want Mother Teresa, victim of love, getting exposed to and exposing for the love of the people. Oh, that was supposed to be I want to be Mother Teresa. If my poetry aims to achieve anything, it's to deliver people from the limited ways they expose themselves in grocery stores, in Vegas, Thailand, or Neverland for love of the people. I will write another poem later, but right now, I see myself as an intelligent, sensitive human with the soul of a clown, and not just any clown, but a clown deer who committed suicide after being banished from the forest after he was caught by other deer exposing himself during a fawn birthday party on the White House lawn for love of the people and deer. my happy kitten and unicorn time with zombies. <laughs> I am currently immersing myself in all things zombie to educate myself on the subtle nuances. Do these pants make me look emo? Zombie emo? My kitten, Resintastic, loves to bring me to that dark, hopeless time of golf playing kitties in the Antarctic where the skies were always blue and every day was happy kitten and unicorn time. In other words, the 70s. What do you get when you cross happy kitten and unicorn time with zombies? Oscar Wilde's balls on Jared from Subway. Jared from Subway, we get it already, shut the fuck up, told TMZ. MC Hammer tried restricting my Nintendo time, but a duck divided by a kitten cannon shooting super sled kitten racing out of a water fairy butt was a good way of letting him know that when you play Slayer's 1986 thrash metal classic, Rain in Blood, 
backwards, you hear, step aside, President Johnson, it's my time to brain fuck. <laughs> what are your three favorite things to do? Mine are being gay 43% of the time, white minus 43%, and taking the path less traveled. But someone less gay can have credit for that. Hopefully, by the time I retire, I'll only have puppies and kittens to take care of. But right now, I got 99 problems, and a bitch ain't one. Wait, 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 wait. I got 99 problems, and they're all bitches. On most days, first you do it, become this unromantic couple. He her boss, him of cheap suit, married elsewhere, she much taller. They'd sit, nursing two white wines across a table in the corner, exchanging looks in silence. He would fidget, she would smile. And then about the time or so their wines were mostly done, she'd put her hand upon her knee, caressingly then blush. This tired act three times a week for six or seven months. Till one night I realized they'd gone missing, no great loss. And like that job, then soon a marriage. Living means to finite end. Finding me sometimes later with a shit job at a blues club, standing outside on the street, staring at two frenzied women in the front seat of a car, and I mean naked, like wow. I'd never seen before. Then I noticed the one on the passenger side was the knee stroking babe from the bar. And when she got out, she shot me this look that smacked earth off its axis, like a man don't know Jack coming shit about pleasing but the self. And there beyond the premise that the girls know more than boys, I realize pleasing others comes to the human foible not. So the only worth remaining lies is words. today and I'm bubbling inside just as much as I am for Gape Seed and I want to put this on you because we ain't this man, we're better than this, all of us are better than this and we're going to move beyond both of these moments that you think this is untouchable, alright? <laughs> to the victim go the sports, not the victim, or or I, victim, victor, or or I, look at to the victim go the spoils. I have you Google where that came from, but we don't have fucking time, right? <laughs> Here we go. To the victim go the spoils. Excuse me, may I enter? Thanks. I knew it, this thing. Ha! Ah, everyone must use that line. You see, I'm married, but so much has changed. I'm about to be laid off. Damn government's cutting the entire program, and I'm feeling kind of lost. Oh, if you only knew. See, I love what I do, and I love my wife, too. We both love each other. God damn it, forgive me. Not you. I mean God. I'm losing my job. And my poor wife, what a hell she's been through. I mean, good things don't always happen when you're following your heart. I mean, I could have been blown up in three million pieces each time I'd gone out in space. That day in Tucson, she met with all those people, it was only the wrong time and place. It's a miracle she's still on this earth. Now she wants me to do this, and that's why I'm here. It's not really cheating. We miss what we had. I don't want sex, though. That wouldn't be right. No. All I want's a blowjob. How much? <laughs> You want to pity somebody, pity any man on earth who still fucking lives through his cock. That's the worst pity we can have now. The rest of it's bullshit when you move beyond that. If anybody's living that way, they're different. Get rid of them. Cut them off. But let's unify. Unique whoever lives through their cock. I'll take it. Cut mine off now. Occu this is it. Final, final. New today. I'm doing it. Occupy audience. Occupy audience. 
the scruffy young man sitting top of the circle stands up and shouts, We won! We won! The system gave in! And the others in the circle start repeating while rising, We won! We won! The system gave in! Then everyone turns to the right of the circle, repeating their mantra, we won, we won, and a sullen young man with his back to the crowd reluctantly turns slowly, raising his head as the circle spreads out, creating space for his presence. So the no longer sullen, now smiling young man crosses quickly, joining hands between two others in his place. And the frizzy-haired young woman shouts, Solidarity! Others raising hands repeat her cry, Solidarity! Then all exult, we change the world. They start to dance, the curtain falls. The audience heartily applauds. The house lights rise sharply. In the front row of the mezzanine, the light-skinned girl tells her companion, they really changed the world. The dark-skinned girl sighs, amazing. They rise and head toward the exit with others. The light-skinned girls ask, what sector are you in? I'm studying well-being, the dark-skinned girl tells her. Awesome, says the light-skinned girl. I wish our cubicles were closer together. Me too, agrees the dark-skinned girl. Maybe we could transfer. Yeah! Just how cool would that be? They both raised their arms and clenched their hands together, breathing solidarity, availing past, providing future. The system must 